Members of the VFW Post in downtown Tulsa say they're excited after President Biden signs a new law to help those impacted by burn pits on overseas military bases. Well, they say they've been getting a lot of calls about the packed bill the past couple of weeks. And now that it's been signed into law, they're hoping to raise awareness about helping veterans file all of their claims. News on 6's Amy Slanchuk has that story. The folks here at the Post say they've seen a big increase in phone calls about the PACT bill the past couple of weeks. And now that it's signed into law, they're hoping to raise awareness that they can help veterans file their claims right here. The VFW Post near 6th and Peoria has always helped veterans file claims and says it's ready to be even busier because of the PACT Act. We're hopeful that veterans will come here to initiate or have their full claim filed and get 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 well. Post Commander Dan Fuller and Quartermaster Michael Merritt expect the process for veterans who need help after being exposed to burn pits to be much easier. There are more than 20 new presumptive conditions veterans can get help for, including several cancers and respiratory illnesses. It's not going to be a fight anymore. It's check in the box. Roger that. You've got it. Let's get you taken care of. Merritt served in the Marine Corps as a KC-130 loadmaster, serving in Afghanistan and Iraq. He says he would go on nightly jogs to stay in shape and was exposed to toxins from burn pits on a daily basis. Human waste, human body parts, it was everything. Any possible thing that you can think that a human would use in a wartime environment was thrown in that burn pit. It burned your lungs, but you had to deal with it. Now he says he has respiratory, sinus, and skin issues. When I was initially filing my claim coming out, they, they looked at those uh, issues and said, well, we can't necessarily connect that to your service connection. And so I was denied quite a bit on those particular things. Merritt says thankfully he's been able to get the help he needs from his primary care doctor, but knows it hasn't been so easy for others and expects that to change. The VFW is a nonprofit and works closely with the State Department of Veteran Affairs and the VA clinics. You can call the post for help at 918-585-9148. In Tulsa, Amy Slanchuk, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.